look at one more example. Uh, this time it's e to the negative x plus e to the x. Well, right away we can maybe apply the quotient rule because there is a division going on. But we can also recognize that y simply equals 1 half times e to the negative x plus e to the x, which makes this whole thing a lot simpler because 1 half is just a constant. So we don't have to really think about that in terms of derivatives. Uh, so all we're going to have to do uh, is apply the exponential derivative rule directly. So y equals, excuse me, dy dx equals 1 half constant times, well, e to the e to the x, the derivative of that is just e to the x. But e to the negative x, the derivative of that is simply e to the negative x times the derivative of the top portion, which is negative 1. So then we simplify this a little bit, um, get rid of some parentheses. 1 half times negative e to the negative x plus e to the x. And uh, there you have it for exponential function derivatives. It's not as tough as it looks. Um, might be a little peculiar, but keep in mind that just apply the simple formula of taking the original term. Here's the original term. And multiplying it by the derivative of its exponential term which is negative 1 in this case. All right. Thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next